Hello and welcome to this really fun tutorial by promotion because today I'm going to take you on a journey! Unfortunately, After Effects is not really capable of creating water. Well, you could animate a fractal noise, make it 3D, add a turbulent displacement effect, followed by a bunch of other stuff. Hey, and you will end up with something like this. And you think you made it. You are the king of water, the queen of the ocean. Until you realize that it just looks like fractal noise with a turbulent displacement. Hey, but a few weeks ago I stumbled upon something and this is a 3D shader that you can use within After Effects. Actually, there's more than just this one shader and I will give you a quick overview later in the video as well. It's called La Forge and seems to solve an ever existing issue. So, today I'm going to show you how to add an ocean to a miniature shot. Hey, we will create this cool night establishing shot and we will also go over a fully 3D shot with camera tracking and all that nice stuff. Phew, quite a lot, but a lot of fun as well. And I made a special deal with Production Crate, the makers of this plugin, so that I can give away some licenses for you for free. So stick to the end to find out how you can win La Forge. So I have done many water shots in my professional career and Maybe you too, starting with a German show called Wege zum Glück that we filmed on a green screen stage in Berlin and we added the North Sea to it in post-production. So believe me or not, for each shot we had to film a background plate separately, which meant that we had to be very precise in planning and executing later on. We had to live with the conditions of the shooting day. But we evolved. For a Maltese show we could actually film with real water in Malta. Hey, and real dolphins. <laughs> But as we needed to film in a pool, we had to switch out the water later on. This time we could use 3D water, but each iteration and each client feedback meant going back into a 3D software, in this case Houdini, and redo the whole shot. Hey, worked out perfect, but those were long nights back then. The next challenge was already ahead. Filming on a digital cruise ship and filming on a historical ship for roots. Same procedure here, creating 3D water for each shot separately. So why am I telling you that? Well, because now we have a time-saving solution for that, all within After Effects. So I think it's best to show it to you. Let's create a new composition and add a layer to it. And I call it Ocean. Now I open up the LaForge plugin here under Extensions. And in here, as you see, there are many effects and I'm looking for the ocean waves and click on it and voila! It has applied the effect as well as created a 3D camera for us. Because yes, this is fully 3D. Let's click on our layer again and go through all the settings we have. Some are pretty obvious. Height, well, is height and choppiness, you guessed it. And speed as well. Now, with the frequency you can define the scaling of your scene. Sky glow again is obvious, as well as the specular. That brings out more or less highlights, and in this case that's the reflections of the sunlight. Scattering is super powerful, because that defines how much of the color you can see through the water itself. So if we bring it down it looks more like open water. But you can also leave the values as they are and play with the scattering color make it darker for open water or tint it if you want to create some other liquid. Last in the parameters is the anti-aliasing and you can play with that for finer details in the waves. Exposure and tone mapping is something I would not touch and work on that on a separate color correction layer. But hey, if you wish you can. And rendering again is super helpful. You can bring down the values here for fast preview and up again for rendering. So sun direction is again self-explanatory as well as the utilities, but let's disable the sky so we can directly bring in our own image and already looking super cool. So now as we know all of this, let's actually start compositing. 
I have captured this image of the toy ship in front of a green screen. But you could also take a picture and simply mask out the ship. I'm just lazy. Oh, and one thing to keep in mind is to keep the aperture pretty high, because in that way most of the ship will be in focus. Because if you take a picture with a lot of depth in a miniature, it will look like a miniature. And that's because if you're close to something small, our brain is used to only see a small portion of it in focus and the rest is out of focus. But if we take a picture of something really big, there's no way of only getting a small portion of it in focus. Because, well, that's how cameras work and our eyes. Well, except you fake it in post-production, which I will probably do for a future tutorial, so stay tuned. Now let's play with our camera until we get the perspective right. And a tip here, if you use vanishing lines, you will find the exact placement of your horizon. Because it sits where the vanishing lines are crossing. Now bring it out of focus with a camera lens blur. Oh, and feel free to also add yourself to the shot with a green screen. And a tip here, if you place yourself behind something, so in the depth of the miniature, this helps a lot with integration. First one done. So next is our night shot. Let's create an ocean scene again. And the only thing I'm changing here is the colors. Blue sun tint, as this is the moon. Ocean as dark as can be, so we only see the light reflections of the moon. And let's bring in a picture of the moon. So this one I took at the last full moon here in Germany. And we are already getting somewhere. The ship I have again filmed in front of a green screen. But if you want, you can simply use a still image and animate it from right to left. Well, actually, let's just do that for now. So I'm freeze framing my footage to only have to worry about a still image. Okay, but now we need two very important things. First, depth information, because we need to place the ship somewhere in the depth. And second, I also want to add depth of field to this. So let's start with this, as this is the easiest thing to do. I duplicate my LaForge layer and I have this checkbox, depth as alpha. So whatever is closest to camera is transparent and the background, everything is opaque. Now let's create an adjustment layer with a camera lens blur and as our blur layer we can choose this layer. And don't forget to choose effects and masks, so it's not only using our layer but also the LaForge effect. And for the channel, we simply use the alpha channel. And with our blur focal distance, we can now even create a rec focus over moving water. Now that is crazy. But now it gets a bit more advanced. We want to create a depth mat. And I need that to basically split the layer in foreground and background so that I can place stuff like the shark or the ship in between. So let's again start with the depth as alpha. But for this effect, I want the foreground to be black and the background to be white. So at first, let's tint it white and we could add a black solid to the background. But let's actually try to do all of this on one layer so we don't go into the pre-comping hell. And a solid composite does just that. Okay, black and white. But we don't want the fall off here, so no gray values, just black for foreground and white for background. So let's simply crush it with a levels effect and bring black and white in. And voila, we have our layer split in the middle. Perfect. Now we can simply use that as a luma mat for whatever we want to place in there. Hmm. But how can we adjust the depth? Let's say I want the shark to swim closer to the camera. Hmm. Well. There are many ways to do that, but let me show you the easiest way I could come up with. Simply add a second levels effect before the already existing one. And with just the input wide slider, we can now define our depths. <laughs> awesome! So, let's find the perfect position for our boat, add some rain elements that I got from Action VFX, and the link to those is in the video description, and we can call this one done. So, last but not least, let's create our 3D shot. And here you see a little behind the scenes how I filmed that. Because when filming a miniature, even the smallest move looks like a really big one later on. So try to move as slow as possible. 
possible. And be creative with creating your own dolly. Hey, and most important for our 3D scene are tracking markers. So I just added a bunch of stickers on the floor and this also helps to define our floor later on. So let's right click on it and choose track camera. And once it has finished, click on the effect name and all detected tracking markers will show up. Now simply select as many as you wish that sit on the ground plane. And most important is that you choose those who are furthest away which will end up in the best result. Because think of it in that way. If you want to stand more stable, it helps if you spread out your legs. Oh, and a few additional legs also help. So now right click and choose create camera and solid. And the solid is just a reference for now, but you can directly create a new solid and again, apply the LaForge plugin to it. And again, we could also add a green screen element to the ship and call it a day. Hey. And we can almost call this tutorial a day, but while I show you some other cool stuff that you can do with this plugin, let me quickly tell you what you have to do to win it, because this is super easy. Just leave me a comment what you would love to do with this plugin and the most creative ones of you will get it for free. It is really as simple as subscribing to my channel. And I will announce the winners in the next video. So I really hope you see the big potential of this tool and for now, I wish you a lot of fun creating water in After Effects.